How have you seen uh, NHL video games progress over the years? Well, I've had a lot of practice with uh, with my three boys uh, being uh, right in the middle of uh, of all the video games, especially uh, with with EA Sports and them playing Xbox and PlayStation and, and what have you. So, I mean, the thing that sticks out for me has been just the the imagery and the life likeness on the games of when you look at the players and the coaches and the officials. Uh, it's almost, I mean, it's just, it's almost real. Um, and to be a part of that is, uh, is something that's uh, that's pretty special. And I think for the first time in a long time, because I am a part of the game with, with the great Doc Emmerich, uh, my kids think I'm pretty cool for a period of time anyways. Very cool. The NHL has that certain type of energy that not many sports can bring. Um, and with these new games, you know, with the way that the crowds are moving and the, 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 uh, the marks stay on the ice from the skates and stuff, um, can you really kind of, as these video games progress, feel uh, the, that energy and power that the NHL has that other sports don't come in through? Well, I mean, I think, you know, we're, I mean, I'm obviously biased to, to our game and what we have to offer, but, you know, when you talk about, you know, the effects and, and to just to be so pinpoint with, with everything, whether it's a crowd shot or mannerisms or, you know, you mentioned a skate blade on the ice, you know, hearing a puck uh, hit the post, I mean, th those are all things that what makes this game, I think, so unique. And uh, it's, 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 I think you can really feel the energy. And I always tell people is if you can get a chance to, to come to a game in person and then get a chance to watch a game on TV or play the game, I think you get a real true appreciation for how amazing the game is. So when uh, when EA Sports first contacted you about getting into the game, and uh, you know, you said this is your first first time in the in the franchise, uh, how did they go about you know presenting to you uh, how you were going to take something from what would be you know real life events where you actually see what's going on to kind of forecasting events and almost using your your own mind to paint a picture of what's going on yet well I mean first off it was it was I mean I was honored that you know that I was approached along with Doc but um, to know what my role was going to be in the game and, and how you would go about it I think it was a learning process for me right from day one is you know when we're when we're doing or when I'm doing my analysis of the game we're not watching anything except for an empty screen I mean we're, we're looking at situations and to go through certain situations over and over again and to give different descriptions without using names, without using teams' names. Uh, I mean, th those were very challenging. So, you know, I think once you understood how your role was going to t uh, was kind of evolve, then you were able to kind of sit in and, and get into it. I mean, the one thing that I'm most proud of in the game is that I think if you close your eyes and watch the game, NHL 15, and then somebody would come in and slip a television in there and you actually have a real game going on is I don't think you could tell the difference because I think our mannerisms and how we do the games are the same on the video game as it would be on a, on a real game that we're doing and that was kind of the idea of it. So for me it was just kind of finding how my role was going to fit in and like I said when you can work with the best in Doc Emmerich uh, it, it's fun and you love people um, that you enjoy being around and you get a chance to work with and share in makes it even more special and, and for me it's like I said it's a great honor and like I said I've seen it with my kids and they you know they beat up on me a couple times in the games over the years so I just refused <laughs> I've just refused to play now because I become a punching bag for my kids uh, but uh, it's uh, it's a real it's a real privilege so I think over the years I think you know the roles will continue to evolve and change and you know we want to make it the best video game out there and uh, we know why people are, are buying the games and playing the games they're there to play the game and we're just there to add to the story like we do uh, when we're doing the games on NBC. Awesome. And from start to finish, um, when you when you first sat down and, and talked to a microphone to, to make your first recording to when you walked out and you shook the hand and said, good job guys, how long did it take? Uh, well, I, I'm not going to say how many hours it took us. I'm just going to say the process from when we started working on it and then to the last time that we were in a studio, I mean, it, it was a good solid, you know, 14 to 18 month process. Uh, not every day, but there were blocks of days and, you know, I mean, hundreds of hours of work um, in, in, in making sure that 
what we did was going to fit the game. And also we had to do things that were going to fit the game. Um, but I think the, the team at EA Sports is the one thing I'll say is that, I mean, they were terrific. I mean, they they treated us like gold and they really helped. They helped me along and I know they helped Doc and it was, uh, it was a process. And if it wasn't for their guidance and leadership, you know, I don't think that the game would be as good as it is because they were there to lend us a helping hand and, you know, it's proud to be a part of the EA Sports family.